Wasps. Probably one of the most hated animals in current times. These disgusting abominations. Oh, uh, I'm a wasp and I like to hurt people. Being blamed for ruining parties in the summer and causing suffering to unsuspecting victims by their painful sting. Let's just get this comparison out of the way so the three degenerate subhumans who actually wanted to fend wasps shut up. We've been throwing rocks at them to try to knock their nests off the wall. We've gotten a few, but we decided to improve our methods. I just like hurting people. I don't clean nothing. I don't make honey. You, yes, you are probably familiar with the sight of people running away from them screaming and others smashing them with your nearest nine object. From personal experience, it's likely that you view the death of one of those creatures as a relief. And it's also very likely that you yourself killed some of them without a second thought. It's definitely not controversial to say that sympathy for these enemies is very limited. But where does the hate for these insects come from and is the public view of them justified? Hello and welcome to my first video in which I will be talking on this channel. Today we will go over public sentiments and viewpoints regarding new social wasps and I want to discuss if they have a basis to stand on or not. You might ask what the point of all of this even is. If you look at the videos from this channel, then it is quite clear that I'm very fond of these animals, so the last thing I want to do is claim that I have an objective opinion on this topic. But I am currently near the end of my bachelor's in biology, will be writing my thesis on wasps and do at least have a bit of personal experience with some of my native German species here. So I am no near an expert and I will try to support every strong claim I make with a source. They will be easily accessible for you to read in the description and can be seen in the video itself. Yes, it's going to be one of those videos. <laughs> I want to ask this question since insects in general play major roles in our ecosystems, which is why the current decline in the number of individuals in many populations is a major problem. This is arose in discussions not only in academic circles, but also in the public media about animals of this class. However, a certain aversion to insects and especially wasps is widespread and can have counterproductive effects on these types of discussions. Together with the increased spread of misinformation, the public support of collective ecological measures can be affected. It is therefore important to raise interest and provide good education even about animals like wasps. Gaining an insight into how these animals perceive and process their environment and their roles in our ecosystems could therefore counteract this problem and also reduce the disgust and fear which people seem to show when having contact with wasps. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't have massive respect for them. They are still wild animals and need to be treated with caution. I should also mention that I'm not here to offer solutions to problems like when it's right to move a nest for example. What I'm trying to do is discuss the common perceptions of these animals and compare them to what we can view as facts. With all of this out of the way and if you can stomach my strong germ accent, I would love to take you with me to discuss different common takes to see if they're misconceptions or not. Wasps can be dangerous. Well, the answer is a clear yes. There have been numerous cases where people have unfortunately lost their lives due to wasp stings, often because of an allergic reaction leading to an anaphylactic shock and ultimately death. Although these cases are relatively rare, they are still incredibly tragic. 
So, it's evident that there is a certain level of danger associated with these creatures if you happen to coexist with them in the same world. However, obtaining global data on fertilities is quite challenging. That's because wasps, hornets and bees are often grouped together as hymenopteran related deaths. According to the National Center for Health Statistics, an average of 72 deaths per year occurred in the USA between 2011 and 2021. And some sources suggested that the global number of deaths in 2022 was around 100. Unfortunately, I couldn't find specific information on how many of these deaths were specifically caused by wasps, hornets or bees, as they seem to be classified under the same diagnosis code. This makes it difficult to differentiate between bees and social wasps in terms of fatalities, and people's perception of these animals varies greatly. It's worth noting that we should consider this data in comparison to other animals, such as hippos and elephants, which each claim around 500 lives annually, crocodiles cause approximately 1000 fatalities, while lions are responsible for around 250 deaths. I do not enjoy comparing human lives in this manner at all, and even though these hymenopteran caused deaths seem to be relatively low, they are certainly not negligible. However, whether we should despise every animal that poses a threat to us is a question we should be asking ourselves. Wasps enjoy stinging people. This allegation of sadism can often be heard, sometimes in a more intentionally exaggerated way, but sometimes more or less genuinely. The idea that the act of causing human suffering is for them pleasurable in some way is kinda widespread and they are often compared to spawns of hell for that. Like they are some kind of devilish creatures which feast on the pain and suffering of their victims and relish in the pain, but yeah. As mentioned earlier, this concept is frequently born out of deliberate exaggeration, but this negative perspective remains prevalent and significant. But regarding the claim itself, I have found no study on if these animals experience something similar to what we would consider to be pleasure when stinging us humans. And honestly I'm not even sure how a study measuring something this subjective would even look. <laughs> and this brings up the question, why do wasps even sting in the first place? Wasps sting without a reason. To begin with, let's focus on the costs that wasps face when they sting someone. The most obvious danger is the risk of getting injured or even killed during a fight. But even if they don't suffer any direct harm, producing venom requires energy. In some parasitic wasps and other arthropods it can be a costly process, but I couldn't find a study on the metabolic needs for the venom production of specifically Eushosa vespidae. So if you know a study about this topic then please send it down in the comment section below, I need it, I've been searching for it, please I need it! Furthermore, there is another aspect we should consider. After Shendel et al, the process of regenerating the venom in many animals can take a long time, in which the animal itself will be much more vulnerable and defenseless. It is safe to say that stinging is not something which is always in the best interest of wasps, and they prefer to not do it in most situations. So, why does it still happen so frequently? Apart from our aggressive interactions, which we will discuss soon, there are many incidents that can be compared to accidents. In these situations, both humans and wasps find themselves in an undesirable position. This often occurs because wasps are small creatures that often go unnoticed by us, and they are naturally curious animals. I personally know several people who accidentally sat on wasps and got stung, or had a wasp fly onto their clothing which then couldn't find its way out. I even had a hornet fly onto my shirt during one of my videos. I had to create some space between the fabric and my stomach so that the hornet could crawl out on its own without panicking. Sometimes, while walking or riding a bike even, we might unknowingly collide with a wasp and get stung. In all these situations, the wasp may panic, feel threatened and then sting us, which can often seem irrational to us. Apart from these incidents, there are also territorial situations where wasps try to defend their hives, for example. 
but I think we can all agree that it is understandable for an animal to try and protect their young at home from danger, just as for example a bear would. It also has to be said that the range and type of warning behaviors varies among different species of wasps greatly, and some are more sensitive than others. We should also consider that the natural habitats of animals like wasps are shrinking because of human expansion, leading to conflicts over territory. So let's not pretend that we wouldn't defend our cities against monsters like kaiju. Wasps are useless and unnecessary anyway. Wasps are so important. Yes, I am serious. It's often the consensus that honeybees are the useful ones and wasps are the unnecessary ones. But this is an incredibly bad misconception. You social wasps serve a variety of ecological services from pest control to cleanup crew and even pollinators and their roles need to be highlighted more. It should also be noted that pollinator is not equal pollinator. Simplified, western honeybees are for example very generalist pollinators. So they are often not the best species for every specific job. We find that other animals like for example specific wild bees, coleopteran and so on can serve their own very important role, which can't be just replaced by a more generalist species. I'm saying this because I see many people, when I mention that wasps are pollinators, say that, hey, bees are pollinators, we can just replace them. But not so easy. It's a relevant point because studies report that pollination levels are usually suboptimal. It seems that species richness regarding wild pollinators has a high chance of increasing crop yields. So it is in our best interest to protect our pollinators, and that would include wasps. But personally, I believe a species does not even have to directly benefit us to have worth. I think there's value in the well-being of an animal, even if they don't affect the economy. So, even though it is a very good reason to support wasps, it shouldn't be the only one in my book. Well, let's discuss ethics. Wasps don't feel pain. I have talked with my professor personally about if insects experience something similar to what we consider to be pain. It is incredibly complicated and we must define many things before the actual discussion. This question is dear to me and I don't really think I would do this topic justice as this short segment. So. If you like this kind of format, I will make it the topic for my next video. But I can say that saying that wasps don't feel pain is a very confidently said statement while there is not a lot of factual basis to be that sure and absolute. Pain is something inherently subjective and can theoretically never be proven in another organism. Only you yourself can know for 100% that you feel pain. But we can make assumptions based on behavioral and neurological evidence. As stated before, this is a very interesting topic. But I think completely covering it here would completely overtake this video. Therefore I believe it is probably the best to save it for another time. To reiterate, this video focuses on the public sentiments towards these animals. It's not about phobias, it's not about if it's fine to remove a nest in a certain situation, and it's not about if wasps are better than bees or anything like that. I, for example, have an intense fucking fear of bears, but I acknowledge their significance in their respective habitats, and I would never argue against their existence or say that I hate them. Despite tragic incidents involving bears existing, they still require protection, even though humans also should take necessary safety precautions against them. This applies to many wild animals, and I believe even to those which were today's topic.
Why the hell are you dressed like a chicken? <laughs>